everybody. Got something to share with all you guys, all you maintenance guys, and uh, really it applies to anybody in life. Um, but I do maintenance videos, so it's about maintenance. I, I figured out a while back that it doesn't matter how how good or bad you are as a you know in your trade. What what really well it does matter, but what people will say about you is more related to how nice you are to them. Um, I, I, I know this really, really nice maintenance guy. He's really slow though. And he doesn't know a lot, but he's really nice. And people really love him. And, and, and when you talk to his tenants, they're, they're always gonna say, you know what, he's always trying his best, but he's always really busy. He's got a lot going on and they don't buy him enough materials and they always have too much work for him. And the tenants always make, make excuses why things don't get done and why why he has such a hard time doing things, and the tenants love him. All the tenants love him. And they'll always tell you, no, he's just overworked and this and that. And I also know some really great maintenance guys that that are jerks. And the tenants, when you talk to the tenants, they're gonna say, no, 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 I don't even want him here because he never does anything right. He Nothing gets done around here. It's always a mess and he, he, he doesn't know what he's doing. And I know them, I know they're good guys. And, and I know they're good workers, but just, they just have a different attitude. So I figured out a while back that the attitude is what really, really either helps you do not so much to do a better job or not, but to get along better with, with, with people, with your tenants, and, you know, everybody in your community. Um, I, I, I realized a while back that the only reason we become one way or the other is because either we control or we don't control our emotions. If you can control your emotions, then um, the world is yours, and, and that's just not not just a meanest thing. It's just in general. I've got a little narrative about this weekend. That I got a call. This, this lady had a there was water dripping in from her ceiling, and this is a, this, this this is a three-story complex. So obviously, there's going to be a leak somewhere, or water spilled or something. So I go out there. This was about 8:30. I knock on her door, and she starts yelling at the dogs. Authentically, I mean, she was she was in a bad mood, and uh, so I, I knew I had to go to the upstairs apartment, but I wanted to see where the actual leak was, and, you know, where I was gonna look. So she opens the door, and oh my God, was she mad? And she just starts cussing me out, and she's saying, "You better make this right. You guys are this, and you guys that, and this company, and the other." And I had never met her. That's not even my complex. But she was mad at me. And, 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 and I, I let her, it's okay, I let her, and, and, and I even told her, ma'am, go ahead, you can vent, I, I'm okay, I understand, I totally understand what you're going through, but in reality, it was only just a six inch puddle, it, when I got there, it wasn't even dripping anymore, um, but she was going frantic over that, and I understand, because she's paying her rent, and she's expecting things to get done, and uh, sometimes people are really nice, and I told her, go ahead, ma'am, you can vent. I understand, I'm the guy that walks to, to her door and I got the logo of the company on my shirt. She's got nobody else to yell at but me. After a while, she figured out, this guy's not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna piss this guy off. She, she was not, she was trying to trigger me, but no, no, I, I don't, I don't let anybody control my emotions. Well, actually, there's two people that, that can really trigger me really fast and that's my two daughters because I love them so much. But um, other than that, it's really hard to, to make me mad. Um, you can say whatever you want. It's okay, I can deal with it because, because it, it, it doesn't really hurt me because I don't let people control my emotions. But th that, that wasn't my point. My point is that, you know, if, if, if you're a nice guy and you, you, you try to do you know, the best work you can, but above all, you know, take care of your tenants, Usually tenants are always gonna love you. Then they're gonna say you're the best. And, and of course, no matter what, there's gonna be tenants that won't like you. But that's okay. Uh, sometimes most of those don't even like themselves. So, so you know, it, it's all right. Um, but but I, I think in, in general, we're always trying to, wherever we work at, make, make it a, the best possible place to work at and for the tenants to be. And it doesn't matter if you're the owner, the manager, or just the maintenance guy, he can make that difference. Just, just, just the attitude. Anyways, that, that's all I got today. 
Um, I hope you guys are all staying safe. And don't let these, these little, I call these first, first world problems, little puddle, um, get to you. Oh, what had happened is a guy upstairs, he overflowed his sink and the, the, the water was over the, his floor and a little bit went down to, to the downstairs tenant. Which is just the first world problem. There, there's families in this world that are sleeping outside and it's freezing cold, they're raining, and, and they have real problems. And we're over here just uh, frustrated and, and going nuts over a little first world problem. Don't let that get to you and please stay safe out there. Uh, this this um, coronavirus is something serious and I hope everybody takes it serious. Anyways, have a good night.